Hey guys, Elpaka77 here and welcome back to another Silver Player Review. Today's video is going to be my review of Inform El Arabi. Before we jump into the review though, there's going to be a few little changes to my player reviews. You may notice them, so let me know in the comments if you notice them and let me know if you want me to keep them in all my player reviews. Anyway, we'll jump into the player review and Inform El Arabi is the Moroccan striker that plays for Granada in the Liga BBVA. He has 4-star skills and 4-star weak foot and on the PS3, he's been going for about 350k, closer to 400k now and about the same on the Xbox. 325k over the weekend but after the weekend he's gone up a tiny bit to close to 400k in terms of the team I use him in this is the team here 41212 but you will notice I will do a squad builder soon probably in the next few days but you will notice I have changed the team now so I'll show you his in-game stats now in terms of his notable in-game stats his best in-game stats in my opinion there's his 93 agility 90 dribbling 87 finishing 86 long shots 87 shot power and 97 volleys you'll see all them throughout the in-game stats in terms of player traits there he's got the flair trait and I thought it'd be interesting to include his in-game overall ratings so as a striker Although his card is a 74, he's actually 80 rated in game. As a centre attacking mid, he'd be 77 rated. And as an attacker, 84 rated, creator 65 rated, and defender 53 rated. So we can move on to some gameplay now, and I'll talk a bit about how he performed in game, in terms of some positives and some negatives, and also compare him a little bit to the normal version, as I've used the normal version quite a lot. So firstly, there's his price, and I would say that is quite a big negative. He's very, very expensive. Silver and forms, or the top silver and forms this year, have ended up being quite expensive. El Arabi, as I said, is about 350 to 400k on both consoles. And considering you can buy the normal version for about sort of two to three, maybe even 5k at the moment. El Arabi is probably one of the most expensive inform silvers in the game at the moment. In saying that though, I did thoroughly enjoy using him and I paid I think 400k for mine and I'm probably going to keep him as he's pretty much a collector's item. He's got some of the best card stats I've seen on a silver player in a while with the 75 pace, 87 dribbling and 83 shooting. Amazing stats for a silver player. My perfect silver player. Amazing dribbling, amazing shooting, and he's not actually too slow. So on the card, he has 75 pace, and in-game, he has 72 sprint speed and 80 acceleration. 80 ex his 80 acceleration is really, really nice. You do notice that quite a bit. 72 sprint speed, you don't notice it at all. A lot of the time, a player with around 70, 70 pace, some people do think it's quite slow, but on this game, it's not really too bad at all. It's perfectly fine, and with the dribbling, it makes him really nice. As well as that, the 70 strength, which I did notice, a lot of other reviews I've had a look at, they have said that he's not particularly strong. Now, I do expect that a lot of those other people using him will probably actually use him in gold teams as he has such good stats against gold defenders yeah he will feel a little weak but against silver defenders he's not actually too bad he is actually fairly strong doesn't really get muscled off the ball much Another positive is obviously the 4-star skills and 4-star weak foot. His weak foot is pretty good. I didn't score that many goals with left foot, but I did score a nice volley and a few other goals. And in terms of the 4-star skills as well, that along with his 90 dribbling, it makes him pretty much insane. It makes him ridiculously hard to tackle. His 90 dribbling is it's pretty much ridiculous. What I found best to do, rather than running in a straight line, run diagonally and then occasionally go go forward in a straight line and that makes the most of his dribbling and makes it pretty hard for defenders to tackle you. It's really also worth mentioning his shooting as well. His shooting is also ridiculously good. He's got 83 shooting on the card which is really really high for a silver player. His normal card does have 77 shooting though so to be honest there isn't too much of a difference in terms of his shooting. You can't really improve his shooting much on his normal card. I think it's seven, no, 76 shooting on his normal card. Pretty much Pretty much the same though, 76 shooting is very high for a silver player already, so there's not much you can improve. He does have 87 shot power and 86 long shots on the inform, and that is very, very noticeable. He's got incredible long shots. He's also got pretty good finishing, 87 finishing in-game, and it pretty much means that he finishes nearly every single one-on-one -on -one chance. His 97 volleys also stands out. I didn't get too many chances to take some volleys, but when I did take a volley, he would pretty much slot it into the top corner every single time. And another thing that I noticed is that his got pretty good free kicks now. He did score a nice powered free kick and if you do carry on taking free kicks with him and don't use him in this, and don't use Trakovsky, someone like that in the same score as him, then El Arabi will score some nice free kicks for you. So on to my overall thoughts, the positives here, some of the best card stats on a silver and form so far in FIFA 14. He has 4-star skills and 4-star weak foot. He's got the incredible 90 dribbling in game, which is amazing for a silver player. And he also has the crazy shooting, which again is, is really good for a silver. And that's 83 on the card with incredible in-game stats. In terms of the negatives, he's quite expensive. And he gradually came down in price over the weekend, but I'm sure he probably will go back up close to 400k, maybe even more. And to be honest, he doesn't feel 300k or even 400k better than the normal version in-game. Yes, he is incredible, has incredible dribbling, incredible shooting, 
If you're going to compare him to the normal version, the normal version can pretty much do exactly the same as the Inform. He can score long shots, he has got pretty good finishing, he's got amazing dribbling. The only thing is the Inform is pretty much a collector's item, has incredible card stats, and the Inform is a tiny, tiny bit better. You'll notice it's slightly in-game, but not enough to warrant the 300-400k difference in price. So lastly, there's my final ratings, and in terms of value for money, I'd have to give him two stars out of five, as he's incredibly, he's incredibly expensive, and the normal version is incredibly cheap. And in terms of quality, I would definitely have to give him five star, as he's probably one of my favourite players in the game so far. Even though he is very expensive, I will keep him as a collector's item, and I will use him, as he's such fun to use in-game. So there we go, guys. That is it for my Inform El Arabi player review. If you enjoyed some of the changes I've made to my player reviews, or enjoyed the review in general, please feel free to give this a like and thanks for watching guys cheers